Hey everyone and welcome to Maker's World. So for a long time now, ever since I started making, one thing I've always needed and wanted was a bench vise. Last year I was given one and it was old and rusty and to be honest I weren't even sure it worked. So it got put to the back of my workshop, it stayed there ever since. So I am going to pull it apart today and I'm going to remove the rust and the grease and clean it up, put it back together, put in some nice fresh grease, give it a paint job and fit some nice new wooden jaws. Hopefully then once it's attached to my workbench, it will definitely help in the workshop. So I've got a record number 53 bench vise here. As you can see, it's just a bit rusty and dusty and just needs a little bit of tender love and care. So most likely I'm going to do some things wrong in this just because it's not something I've ever done before. If I do something wrong then please you know, let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to know what I've done wrong so the next time I can avoid doing it wrong and do it right. So that's it all apart now and it came apart really quite easily. So I'm going to get it all cleaned up now and see if I can get it looking pretty. So that's it all hoovered now and yeah, we're done. That's it. I'm finished. Don't need to do any more. I've mastered this skill. Sweet. So obviously it's far from perfect, but it's a damn sight better than it was. Yeah, so considering I didn't really have the tools necessary to actually do this, it seems to be going quite well. I'm just trying to make do with what I've got really. So I'm just going to continue doing what I was doing. Um, white spirit to degrease, nitro moss to remove any of the paint that's on it. And yeah, hopefully we'll get there and it should look pretty. Pretty damn awesome, or pretty damn ugly, one of the two. But we'll soon find out.
I've got my bench grinder clamped down, the wire wheel fitted, and I'm just going to use that now to clean up all of these parts. So I'll just show you them bit by bit, so then you can see what they look like. So that's it all now I'm ready to go back together if I remember how to. Hopefully it'll all go back together just fine and then we can give it a lick of paint to finish it off. So let's get cracking. So as we twist it, it springs, it wants to spring back, but it's also lifting up this. So I would have liked to got these bars back to be nice and shiny. I might have a look and see if there's something I can do to improve these. Um, it might just be a case of like hand sanding them from a rough grit down to a smooth grit. I'm not really sure, but I didn't want to like use an angle grinder and obviously put dents in it because then I don't know how, how well the mechanism would work. Looking in here, I might add some grease into the... Um, I'm not 100% sure as to where this should have been greased and where it shouldn't have been. I might take it apart and just quickly add some grease into it just to make, give myself a little bit of peace of mind. Um, I do believe that there was supposed to be a plate that sits over this. So I might just make something quick out of a piece of wood and just sit it over the top. And then it should hopefully stop as much sawdust and stuff from getting into here and gunking this up. So that's it all put back together now. Um, I took it apart greased any parts that move and seems to be going quite well right so i've marked it out drilled underneath and started to install these these are what i'm using to attach it in yeah come here come and say hi hello you got cucumber big fan of cucumber Hey! Thanks. You're offering YouTube cucumber. Oh. That's it all on and ready to go now. Um, I'm going to give it one last clean with some methylated spirits just to take all the grease and grime off of it and then get it all ready and taped up for it to get a nice little paint job. Right, so I need to get these two jaws fixed up, ready to go in there. Just want to get them all nice, sanded down nice and smooth. Um, maybe put some sort of finish on them to shine them up a bit. And yeah, just get them to the roll. All nice and level. All the same. 
and just get them all looking pretty because I think that looks amazing so I need these to look nice and I think that the light wood against the dark vice is just going to stand out so well so time to get cracking with these so I'm just going to start sanding these now just get them all nice and smooth and get them looking pretty I'm going to start off with some 120 and then we'll move over to some 240 just to make sure it's all nice and smooth Right, so that's the face is all nice and smooth. So I'm going to take the bit of 240 and just knock off all the edges. So obviously I put the vice onto the workbench before I actually attach the wooden jaws. So this meant that this back piece couldn't be screwed into place like this one so I have just put some double sided sticky tape on the back of it for now to hold it in place just until the future till I change this workbench into something a little bit nicer and then that way I can get to the back and will then install the screws to hold it in place for now it obviously does its job and there we have it a restored <laughs> bench vice Obviously it is not perfect, but it works, it's functional, it looks absolutely stunning in my opinion. So that's today's project finish, I am absolutely over the moon with how this came out, as always. But I am obviously by no means an expert at restoring, um, I've never restored anything before this is the first thing it wasn't in that bad of condition so i don't even know if you could call it restoring but you know cleaned it up fixed it got it painted and it now works which is my main intention and i now have a bench vice which is something i've wanted for a long time as i said earlier in the video so yeah i'm, I'm absolutely over the moon the Bench vice puts the bench to shame because the bench is just filth. So that's definitely going to be a future project. If you did enjoy that video, then please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for future notifications of my video releases. If you do have any comments of something that I did wrong, something that I did well, something I could improve on, or just any information or just, just any feedback that you might have, please leave it down in the comment section and I will reply. Thank you everyone for coming and I hope to see you again next time.